All right, my friend thinks that he's developed a defense that will ruin my Metakiller offense by throwing Drax in here. Um, so in Arena, the layout is always incorrect. Uh, what you see here is this little spot go, switches with the corner here. So Phoenix is actually bottom right here with Drax behind her and Magneto, uh, Merc LT, and Ultron. So one difference or one wrinkle in this particular defense is uh, I will not be able to disrupt Ultron on turn one, which means that we are going to have a war of Ultrons. And so that makes this a lot more difficult. So uh, what we have to do is not kill their Phoenix, uh, or if we do, we have to murder their Dark Phoenix very quickly. And we really want our Phoenix to die early, otherwise um, it's just not going to be very pleasant for us. <laughs> All right, so instead what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open with the blind. Um, I think, yeah. Um, so we're going to target Drax, though, not Phoenix. We want to pull people a little closer together. See how that works? Now they're all adjacent to Drax. Um, and the reason I do that is because then my vision ability block has a one in or four chance of landing on Ultron. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see if this works. Uh, we're gonna let uh, we're gonna let Drax get hit, and okay, well that was a little unfortunate. Um, we lost the taunt on him, and let's see, we got two stacks of evade and stealth on her. Uh, I can only ability block Magneto or Drax, um, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put the offense down on her for now. And there's the Ultron minions. There's mine. Uh, we're about to get blinded. Although my Phoenix didn't get blinded for some reason. So that blind comes a lot later because there are no Brotherhood with um, Magneto. Now I got lucky there. They killed my um, Phoenix first. So as long as mine doesn't die before she ults, I should be in great shape. Um, so the question is, is who do we want to kill? I like killing the Incinerator myself. Um, let's see. What Five. Yeah, let's just do a basic to kill him, and uh, then we'll slap the ground and do 20% damage, and there's the uh, Drax uh, taunt. So we're going to still do our special to get rid of stealths. Um, also need to get one buff off of Ultron. Uh, Mystique is actually known for stealth, and right now she's pretending to be a part of the enemy team, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, we need to get rid of that or that uh, taunt so we can focus fire Ultron. Uh, I'm going to try to get him down. Ooh, my god. My Phoenix is so friggin' screwed right now. Yep, there she goes. Ouch. Uh, okay. Well, this is not good. Uh, we're going to try to get rid of that Ultron. I don't think I can one-shot him. Oh, I did. Awesome. Alright, that wipes his buffs at least. Uh, we want to get this Merc LT down too as well. Um, so we got him at least. And then, um, really, we have to get Ultron down. That's the primary goal here. So we need to get rid of that defense stuff. We need to just hit him because I don't know when his minions are going to take turns. Um, let's go ahead and ability block him just to be safe. And then we just got to clean up a bunch of minions once he's down. Uh, I'm going to call in the minion squad, though. We, we're we down people, so we got to use that. Perfect. All right. You got to mit another minion down. Now we just need to get rid of this Magneto, and I think we're good. I think the problem with using Drax is that he basically doesn't provide any damage output. You just have to get around him, and um, that's not particularly difficult. So what we want to do is kill all these minions, clear them out. Uh, let's get rid of that Drax, and now we got a pretty easy uh, attack here with uh, you know 10 on 1. So we'll slow him, and we'll kill him. And then we just got to clean up Phoenix here. She's going to do her thing. Uh, and this should be fairly simple to control here. So even though I lost my Dark Phoenix before she could ult, um, I should win this pretty handily. Uh, I think Ultron can pretty much 1v1 Phoenix, uh, even Dark Phoenix. So I'm not too worried about that. But you can see, um, you know, I had a couple things not go my way on this fight. And I was still able to pull it out pretty well and you know, win pretty decidedly here. So that's, you know, it's just sometimes it comes down to how you play. And, um, you know, had I been thinking a little bit more ahead of time, um, 
Pyro wouldn't have been a bad choice to bring instead of Vision because once you bring everybody together on turn one, if you can't dispel all those buffs that they have, especially like your you know the taunts on Drax and Phoenix, Pyro would be able to do that with his special on turn one. And I believe he goes before a, mag a solo Magneto because a solo Magneto... So here's the weird thing. He's got a speed of 90, but he still gets his speed boost on spawn of 15%. So that would be 13th more. So he'd go, uh, his speed should be about 104 when he's solo. Whereas when he's got a brotherhood with him, it's something more like 170 or something silly. Um, but Pyro, for instance, uh, let's see what his speed is. I think it's right at 100, isn't it? Oh, he's 95. Okay, so he would go after the Magneto blind. So that would make his his special useless. Um, so that wouldn't work either. Damn. Okay. So that would not. I don't know. Maybe. There's, uh, like, you'd need. Maybe, I guess. You, I mean, you could use somebody like a uh, Daredevil that's immune to blind, since you won't be able to remove that blind with Phoenix like you normally would. So that's kind of interesting to think about. Um. Yeah, so, I mean, I was able to outlast it, but the reason why I was able to outlast it is, one, I wasn't forced to kill the Phoenix because of the Ultron minions I had to attack and the Drax, so I had alternatives. And then, two, um, I mean, it was just, they didn't do a whole lot of damage. They didn't have a lot of AoE. Uh, it's really just the Phoenix, and I was careful enough not to kill her to turn her into Dark Phoenix fast enough. So that helps a lot, too. So it's just kind of playing the characters a bit and knowing who go who does what and trying to avoid some of the nastiness that they can bring. So, I, you know, I, I think Drax is annoying on defense, but I think once you figure out how to work around him, I don't think he's that difficult to work around. So, anyway... Uh, let's see. Let's open up some orbs real quick. Got some red star orbs today. Let's burn them. Nope, nothing. Man, there's a three. That's saber two. Hey, I need that. He's only a one. All right, very nice. Ooh, that's a level four Doctor Strange. All right. Hey, that's not so bad. Uh, that's a nice little upgrade for Sabretooth, who really needed it. He was my only brotherhood that was lacking pretty hard. He, uh, he only had one red star, and so Strange had three, so he's not. that's not a huge change for him, I guess, 10%. Uh, just one star, but yeah, it helps. I mean, he's so squishy, it doesn't really feel like it matters. <laughs> but Sabretooth, oh, I like this, because he gets a huge health boost from Magneto and damage boost and all that stuff, so that's a nice little... Uh, jump for him man i might have to bring him up a little bit further get him 65 tier 11 or something uh, i have been liking him in brotherhood a lot more lately since i built him so yeah let's open up a couple more orbs and then we'll call it a night um let's see what else we got, we got basic junk nope merc sniper now well, at least i don't have him seven star all right oh gold orb let's do that come on millions of gold nope could really use a 3 million drop again. I missed that 500k a day. Oh, those were the days. And we got 500k. Ah, Green Goblin's nice. I don't have him at 7 star yet. Still working our way at him. Or Cable. Our cable's still got a little ways to go. Yeah. 156 to go. And uh, Saber 2 7 star. No big deal. It's all good. Uh, let's see what else. We got a lot of mega orbs, but I'm saving those for when Minerva gets added. So I may never open them. We'll see. Oh, Mantis. Nice. I'm still working on her. Uh, she is a good healer. I actually really like her with Guardians. She works really well. A lot better than I had thought initially. Oh, here's a training orb. Let's see. Can we get that big 25 drop? <gasps> oh, yeah. Modules. Everybody's favorite drop. Everybody loves modules. Uh, all right, I'm saving my elite orb for, you know, Cyclops or Coulson or whoever. I don't even know who's coming next. Uh, we'll see. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it for orbs. So, yep, it's all good. Got uh, a couple of nice upgrades there. That's not too bad for some freebie orbs. Can't complain about that at all. So, 
Good deal. Good deal. All right. Well, y'all have a good night.